I'm in love with today's look. This tutorial is going to show you guys how to elevate your everyday look into a more glam kind of vibe. And of course I had to feature Mother Pat McGrath. Her skin fetish foundation is absolutely everything. And you guys are going to see how well it slays. I can't wait till y'all see this because look at the finished product. Okay, so if you guys are into my hair, definitely check the description box in my most recent upload. I showed you guys how I slayed this unit. I wore it in the middle part, but today I said, let me do a side part. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, okay? Join the family and definitely, if you're an oldie with a goodie, show up in the comments and give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you wanna see more content like this. To get right into it, one of the first things that I like to do since my skin is already hydrated and moisturized, and you guys know I already have my skincare routine on my channel so you can check the description box and the card section to get all the details and so I wanted to first go in and apply my sunscreen and I'm using the super goop unseen sunscreen this type of sunscreen is SPF 40 and it feels so smooth across the surface of the skin. When I tell you, some people say it feels a little bit oily, but to me, I love this particular texture and consistency, and I apply it all over the skin, on my face, and on my neck. If you're wearing an updo, put it on your ears, protect your skin, sis. So after I give my sunscreen a little bit of time just to kind of soak into the skin, I'm gonna apply the Becca Primer. This is the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And I focus this on my eyebrows, because your girl ain't got no brows, and then I'll go in on the area of my skin where it's prone to oiliness, you know, cause I have super oily combination skin. I have acne prone skin as well. Focus it more in the center of my face around the T-zone, you know, the forehead and even in the chin area. And a lot of people, you know, they talk up Anastasia Beverly Hills and I wanted to use their Brow Wiz in the color chocolate. So since I have that matte base for my brows, it makes it so much easier to apply the product and create my ideal shape. Cause girl, you can barely see my brows when we first start out. So I really did like this pencil. You know, you can get even strokes. I feel like the color is pretty good. It's a nice lighter shade of brown, but you can build on it, make it a little bit more deep or more rich in color and I loved how this works you know I create a bit of an arch just around the center right before the tail and I did both brows but I was like you know what I feel like this could definitely you know be a little bit more of an intense brow so I went in with the LA girl brow pomade this is in the color dark brown and I focused this more on like the arch and the tail end Then I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. So this color is perfect because it's gonna highlight the brow, especially around the arch. That's where I focus the bulk of the product. And again, I wanted to sort of fan out the sides of the brow with the concealer because I don't wanna concentrate the product there because again, you could have a very stark brow, which I'm guilty of, okay? So learn from me, sis. And then next, I went in with this sort of fluffy brush to fan out the product, especially on the outer edges of the brow, just so there's a nice, even gradient. And you kind of pull the concealer down. Usually I would put it all over my mobile lid, but less is honestly so much more. So I like how this is going. I feel like I'm doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? The brow is giving what it was supposed to have gave, and it actually looks like a brow. I used the Sephora bronzed matte bronzer in the shade Mykonos, okay? Love this, I love the color of it. It's a nice contrast and it's great for that one eyeshadow look or one product shadow look. And it gives you a nice sort of like brick brown or a brick red, it's very subtle, but it's still, it gives you dimension to your eye look. And again, I love how this looks and I would highly recommend this. Wait till you see me use it for the contour. Now next up, this is the mother, okay? Pat, her packaging, it, it just, it gives a lot to me, okay? It's worth every penny and trust me, it's an investment, but ooh, it is so worth it. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I am in the shade medium 20. 
get into the packaging get into the consistency of this foundation it is a little bit more loose a bit runny but i actually like that it's going to give you medium coverage but it's going to be buildable so if you're someone who has a bit of hyperpigmentation or acne scars much like i do hold on sis you still might want to grab this because it's medium to full coverage in my opinion so i went in with my elf okay you got to get your elf makeup sponge because that is one of the best sponges that i use and girl it's inexpensive af i used a spatula to apply the foundation to my skin and then i used the sponge just to like work the product all over the skin surface now this color is definitely too dark for me and to be honest with you this was the shade that i was when i came back from greece so again you know it was hitting but you know what i refuse we're gonna make this work and i'm gonna show you guys even though your foundation is a little bit darker there are ways that you can make a better match so that it matches your complexion seamlessly but one of the next things i wanted to do was go in with the la girl pro concealer that i use for the brows and i'm applying that under the eyes you know i'm gonna apply it bridge of the nose right in the center of the forehead as well as the chin and i wanted to also take the product and apply it just below my cheekbones because we need to create a chin strap okay we need to do a chin strap vibe because this foundation is so dark it's going to be such a stark contrast if i don't blend it well so i focused on mixing the concealer with the foundation and when i tell you this is the perfect trick listen to me sis it's perfect and it worked out well i just wanted to lighten it around my jawline so it's not so intense of a contrast and then next with the maybelline fit me foundation this is the matte and poreless in 356 or warm coconut use a very small amount around the area of your cheekbones or where you're trying to contour around you know the ears because you don't want to make it too dark around the perimeter especially near the lower half of your face so then i applied this across you know the hairline especially and again the blend is everything it feels so good and it just works like you know how some things just work and so the great thing about this is i did my contour first because i want to see how deep this is going to be and then i used the sponge you know at the base to blend everything out you use the contour portion for the base of the sponge to blend it out and then at the high or the point that's where i use to blend out the concealer and you guys can see the concealer blends out smoothly i'm gonna take my time and i'm gonna blend for my life i know y'all like to play and y'all like to just rush you want like a 10 minute makeup look you can have a 10 minute makeup look but still blending is everything so for me i blended for my life and it looks good sis it looks damn good we have to go in and we have to mattify this look because again i'm team oily let me know what your skin type is because i love using the laura mercier translucent setting powder i go heavy underneath my eyes because i am noticing a bit more of you know a crease so i want to make sure i'm using enough and getting the appropriate areas then i go underneath the contour that i just did with the maybelline fit me foundation and i really want to chisel it out okay if you want to drop like a a quick five pounds okay chisel with your translucent powder against the contour just thank me later and i also do my nose as well as the center of my forehead because again you want to make sure that you are getting the areas that are prone to oiliness as well so all around the mouth the base of the nose around the nostrils super important i'm giving you a powdered donut i'm giving you you know what i'm saying dust but what we're going to do now is i'm going to go back in with the sephora bronzed bronzer and i'm going to use this but i'm going to take my elf highlighting brush to contour and create a nice gradient but i want to have a very light pressure that i'm applying to the brush because i don't want to go too heavy this is super pigmented okay so i highly recommend this very very pigmented so i'm warming up the perimeter of the face the same way that i did with the maybelline fit me foundation and then once i'm satisfied because i gotta be satisfied if i'm not happy we can't move on so then i went in with the maybelline fit me matte and poreless pressed powder and this is in 334 girl i love this 
this works perfectly so i'm gonna take this and a very fluffy brush and start to move that translucent powder away from the under eye area it works sis use it get into it i focus it just below my contour and basically all around the face and i really wanted to use the powder to blend into the contour so again we're working for that seamless finish okay so after you have wiped away all of the powder it's so important to go in with the bioderma hydra bio mist i love the fine mist of this and you want to apply this and you know do your thing get happy like miss that face douse that face okay and then give it time to dry because it's super important in setting your overall makeup it takes away that white cast it just does the rest of the work okay so let it finish you off when i'm done i like to take a brush a little fluffy brush for right under the eye and i'm going to use the pressed powder that i apply all over my face the 334 along with the bronzer that i used on my eyes to just create a sultry look. I told y'all, if y'all wanna elevate these looks and make them look super sexy, you might want to consider using a little bit of bronze, a little bit of color just to get you together. For the inner tear duct highlight, I'm gonna use the P. Louise base. This is in zero. So this is white, it's a stark white color. It's good for me. I'm gonna create like super sharp, you know, cuts in the tear duct. So that's gonna be the placement for my highlight. And y'all know, whenever I do the highlight, it's always Fenty Beauty Trophy White because you can't get no better than that, okay? Girl, stop. And once I do that, then I like to do my wing. Y'all typically love to watch me do the wing, so I'm just gonna leave the footage here so y'all can get into it. I definitely toned it down and didn't make the portion of the liner that's on the mobile lid as thick because these lashes that we're gonna use, we're about to fly real high on the way to heaven, okay? Cause yeah. So get into this little wing liner and then I'll get back. I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. And girl, I just used this all over to coat my lashes and I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of drama to create a little bit more of an intense look. And then with the Urban Decay 24-7 Ultra Glide Liner in Perversion, this is the best liner that you could ever use. And with your sponge, you wanna use that to kind of keep you know, your hand steady. I'm not gonna drag on my eye. I'm just gonna use it, place it directly under the lower lash line so that I can successfully apply that liner because that is super tricky. There's no way to do that and look cute. It just looks crazy all around, but I love how my liner looks when I do that. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna hit them with some mascara as well because I want this look to be super sultry because these lashes that we got coming for my lashes, you know I had to support black owned business black woman owned business thou art a newly on instagram she has her lash line super baddie kawaii and i got the baddie sensei lashes so get into the packaging because she definitely did her thing i am in love with this look and i had to of course trim the lashes so that they fit my particular eye shape i got the almond eyes but i wanted them to enhance you know give me that sexy kind of look and then you know you got to use the best lash glue in the world this is the super strong hold eyelash adhesive by i envy if you don't know about it you need to get into it check the description box i purchased mine from amazon you can get it from the beauty supply store but girl 10 out of 10 would recommend and when you are putting your lashes on Get a mirror, a handheld mirror, and look down. And you want to use these little special lash tweezers to hold the lash. And you want to come from up top and lower the lash in place. Next is the highlighter. And this is by Wet and Wild. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of Wet and Wild. Uh, they just, they get it right. And this is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. And I'm using the Flash Me combo and i love to use that rose gold for my highlight i ended up hitting it a little bit with the fenty beauty trophy wife because girl i need to have a little bit of gold you know gold for the girls and then i went in and i did use the blush side 
as the blush and it works it's like a very light mauve with a little hint of like magenta like reflex and gold it works it just works now for the lip combination for the girls you need about three products for a bomb lip combo and so first i'm going in with the crayon case gumbo this is a matte liquid lipstick and i go in heavy with this around the perimeter of my lips you want to fan it out a little bit and then i you know I have to introduce a nice little pink, okay? Find your perfect pink. For me, it is Max Pink Plaid. It just looks beautiful against this brown, trust me. And then for the gloss, let me tell you something. Gloss can make or break the look. You gotta have the right gloss. You know what I'm saying? I want the gloss from my childhood, but I also, you know, I need that glass look but I also need it to be a little bit more elevated because you know we're a little bit grown and sexy. So the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly and Chill. You go get it and you talk to me. This is amazing, I love it. Mine is like discolored. This was a clear gloss basically, but because I've mixed it so often with my pink and brown you know, lip colors, it's just the perfect blend and it's just the glosses on 10. So I would definitely recommend. Now y'all drop down in the comments, let me know what tips are you gonna add to your routine? Are you feeling this look? I know y'all always say this is too much makeup for me, but sis, listen, I done been in the house for so long. Somebody gonna get these looks, okay? So let me know if you enjoyed this. I appreciate you guys for listening and tuning in. And I'm gonna have some more goodies coming for you. So make sure you subscribe, turn those post notifications on, hit that thumbs up button. Cheers with your homeboys and your homegirls. Hot Girl Summer is coming and we wanna slay.